welcome to my shop in this video i want to show you all i learned about this uh, very cool wood uh, star puzzle it's made out of six identical pieces so in the past uh, two weeks i was uh, thinking about the right jig uh, making this uh, puzzle in mass production with very high accuracy i made around of 40 pieces maybe a bit more i think i got to good configuration it's known as Escher Solid and the reason is that Escher was the first one to make awareness of this shape in two of his famous printings. He's been a great inspiration for me for a long time. Uh, all these are different books about his work, about his drawings. So Escher is known for his mathematically inspired uh, drawings. His knowledge in mathematics was much more than the average. In this book you can see some of his studies for all kind of uh, interesting shapes. Some of them are very in interesting mathematically. For example, the shape that, that we are discussing now is shown here. And also here. It's a close version of that. Over here on his famous uh, drawing uh, waterfall, you can see the shapes that we're talking about. That's why it's called Escher Solid. This is also one of his famous ones. Now, Escher is very famous for his uh, tessellation work. Tessellation is actually when you take a shape and you try to fill the whole space with it. And Escher did literally hundreds of examples of different shapes that match together and fill space without any gap between them. And he explored it uh, thoroughly in many, many of his works. You can see a lot of sketches. You can see how many he did uh, samples of tessellations. So not many know, but this shape can actually tessellate a three-dimensional space with no gaps at all, in a perfect way. And I'll show it to you now. As you can see, everything fits perfectly. There's no gaps at all. So let me show you how you solve this puzzle. Actually, I never met anyone that could solve this puzzle by himself. So how do you disassemble this puzzle? That's actually very easy. What you need to do is to hold two pieces, one against the other, pull them out. There you have it. To assemble it, most people would try to probably make a box from these shapes. What they'll find out very quickly is that when you get to the final piece, it won't fit in. You have no way to get it in without breaking it. And that's not the solution. So how do you really solve it? What you need to do, you need to form a shape made out of three pieces. Uh, make sure that all the center are connected. They all need to meet in the star. Now, after you made one piece, you can look at it as three axes piece. This is a X, this is a Y, and this is a Z make another p a shape identical to it but mirrored that means exactly the opposite you need to have one piece against the other like this and now holding it one in each hand what you need to do is to slide it in and there you have it now it's connected let's do it again with another one 
So here's a star disassembled. You have three pieces. Now sometimes you'll see that the shape won't connect. Now this is because you didn't make the the second shape mirror to the first one. So solving it is very easy. Just take one piece and turn it to the other side. Now you're ready to connect it. Just like before, one against the other, slide it in.